Imagine a nation, fresh from the throes of colonial rule, poised on the brink of a future filled with uncertainty. That was Singapore in 1965, a fledgling nation grappling with the challenges of newfound independence. Ethnic tensions simmered beneath the surface, threatening to disrupt the fragile peace. Economic instability loomed large, casting a shadow of doubt over the path to prosperity. And with limited natural resources, the odds were stacked against this tiny island nation. Stepping into this cauldron of complexity was Lee Kuan Yew, Singapore's first prime minister. A man of vision and determination, he was tasked with steering the nation through these tumultuous times. His mission? To transform Singapore from a struggling third world nation into a first world oasis. A task daunting to most, but not to Lee Kuan Yew. In the face of adversity, Lee Kuan Yew was not deterred but driven to transform Singapore from a struggling nation into a prosperous city-state. What does it take to lead a nation from third world to first? For Lee Kuan Yew it was a pragmatic leadership style. This style was rooted in a clear vision and unwavering commitment to the long-term interests of Singapore, even when faced with the tempting lure of short-term political gains. Lee Kuan Yew was a leader who believed in action, not just words. He was not afraid to make tough decisions, and he never shied away from responsibility. Central to his leadership was his staunch dedication to meritocracy. He believed strongly that positions and rewards should be earned, not given. This principle was reflected in his government's policies, where talent and hard work were consistently recognized and rewarded. Equally important was his commitment to clean governance. Lee Kuan Yew understood that corruption erodes trust and hinders progress. Thus, he made it a priority to foster a culture of integrity within his administration, setting the tone for a transparent and accountable government. Finally, Lee Kuan Yew was a firm believer in the rule of law. He recognized that a stable and predictable legal environment is crucial for economic development and social order. He knew that for a nation to thrive, its citizens must have confidence in the fairness and impartiality of its legal institutions. Lee Kuan Yew's pragmatic leadership style was a cornerstone in building the thriving Singapore we know today. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of pragmatic leadership in shaping a nation's destiny. In the face of daunting challenges, it takes visionary policies to spark a transformation. And that's exactly what Lee Kuan Yew and his government did. Imagine this. You're a newly independent nation in the mid-20th century, grappling with ethnic tensions, economic instability, and a critical lack of natural resources. The odds are stacked against you, but you have a vision, a vision of prosperity and progress. That was Singapore in 1965. Lee Kuan Yew's government didn't shy away from these challenges. Instead, they confronted them head-on with bold, innovative policies. They recognized that the key to economic success was a well-educated workforce, so they invested heavily in education. They knew the importance of a robust infrastructure in attracting foreign investment, so they made it a priority. They understood that without natural resources, they needed to create a conducive business environment to attract foreign investments. These weren't just short-term solutions, these policies were visionary, focused on the long-term prosperity of Singapore. They were designed to transform a struggling post-colonial nation into a thriving modern city-state. And they did. But this transformation didn't happen overnight. It was the result of years of hard work, careful planning, and unwavering commitment to the vision. It was a testament to the power of visionary policies and pragmatic leadership. By implementing visionary policies, Lee Kuan Yew set Singapore on a path of rapid development and prosperity. A path that turned Singapore from a third world country into a first world nation in just a few decades. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of visionary policies. As with any influential figure, Lee Kuan Yew's legacy is not without controversy. His remarkable achievements in transforming Singapore are often juxtaposed against criticisms of his governance style. Some critics highlight the stringent control on freedom of speech and political dissent that characterized his rule. His grip on power, they argue, trod a fine line between pragmatism and authoritarianism. Then there were the restrictions on civil liberties. The strict laws and regulations, while successful in maintaining order and stability, were seen by some as encroachments on individual freedoms. There was a trade-off, it seems, between rapid economic progress and the breadth of personal liberties. Yet, even these criticisms underscore the complexity of Lee Kuan Yew's leadership. His approach was not about achieving popularity, but about making tough decisions for the long-term success of his nation. 
Despite the controversy, there's no denying that Lee Kuan Yew's leadership played a pivotal role in Singapore's transformation. So, what can current and aspiring leaders learn from Lee Kuan Yew's story? The essence lies in vision, pragmatism, and long-term thinking. A leader must see beyond the horizon, yet remain grounded in reality. Implementing bold forward-thinking policies is crucial, but so is adapting to unexpected challenges. Prioritize a nation's long-term interests over short-term political gains. Whether you agree with his methods or not, Lee Kuan Yew's memoir, From Third World to First, offers valuable lessons on leadership and nation-building.